Nope. Well, who else thinks this review is gonna go all sideways? Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freak and geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Sideways. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We got Sideways looking all sidewaysy. His name is Sideways Transformers. On this side of the box, we have Sideways. On this side of the box, we have Sideways in close up, and he is a Deluxe Class, a Class Deluxe, Deluxe Class, and a Class and then oh, up top, Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. On the bottom, words, things, and stuff. On the back of the box, obligatory product shots. And a brief bio if you want to read it in multiple languages. Hooray for languages, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Sideways, as seen in Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, and here he is in his robot mode. So yeah, a, uh, a character we didn't see too much of in the movie. He didn't last too long, but I still think he had more screen time than Jolt, so you know what? Hey, I'll take it, I'll take it. But here he is in robot mode, and let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin. It's a nicely detailed head sculpt there. A lot of silver on the face, which looks pretty good. Um, there is a lot of paint on this figure, just not where you want it to be. Well, it is where you want it to be, but also not where you want it to be at the same time. Um, but there is some good bits of silver here. Um, the arms don't have much of anything paint app wise. These flaps are for car mode. Yeah, a little bit of silver there on the form. And a little bit right here on the thigh. And that's pretty much it. You get a little bit right here as well, but not too much. The legs, the legs do not look good at all. Like the leg, they're just all kinds of just, they're the bad kind of hollow, like the really bad kind of hollow. And it just does not look good. Not a fan of the legs. Um, his big old feet, his pointy little toes. And moving up the back, we have his booty, which is not sideways. Well, it's kind of sideways. Or is it horizontal? I don't know. But anyway, but... There you have the back section there. You just got the rear bumper hanging out where where a where, where a rear bumper should. I know words. I swear I do. But that is uh, pretty much it now as far as articulation goes. The head is on a ball joint, but just due to the shape, you don't get too much wiggly waggly. Minimal wiggly waggly. He can look up a good bit. Can do squirrel. Uh, can't look down too much. Head can rotate. Can do a full. 360, if you just kind of maneuver it around things. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. You do have this hinge there as well. You can move that shoulder up and down if you want to. Um, no bicep, but you do have a ball joint at the elbow, so you get your rotation there. You get a bit over 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. Um, the hands, the way the transformation works, the wrists don't rotate, but you do have hands that can open and close. The thumb can move forward and back. The four fingers can move forward and back. You do have a waist rotation. You have legs that can move forward that far, back that far, outward. You can do the full splits. Um, your thigh rotation is, you know, you have rotation at the hip itself. You do have thigh rotation right there, right above the knee. 90 degrees of bend at the knee, and the feet are on a ball joint. They can move up, they can move down a lot. You have rotation, and you have a little bit of ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, he includes a weapon here. You got a nice triple barreled blaster going on there with some nice detail. No paint on it, but some nice detail. Um, you can store this if you want to. There are two slots right back here. And you use these two slots and it will just plug right in. You can just have that stored back there if you wish. Or, of course, you can have him wielding his weapon and to do that you want to open the hand all the way up bring those fingers and thumbs as far out as they will go and then you just slide fingers in here it's a little tab that will go into this slot right in there and that will just slide in and then the thumb will come down over a little tab and just lock that into place and there you go he can pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang and all of that good stuff right there so there you have that, and now for comparison. 
Here he is with Studio Series Bumblebee with his BFF Side Swipe with Studio Series Megs. As you can see how that works out. And lastly, but not leastly, here he is with the original Deluxe Revenge of the Fallen Sideways. So you can see how that works out. So there you go. So that is pretty much it for the robot mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So first thing we need to do is uh, we need to uh, work on his hand. So you want to open his hands all the way up as far as they will go. Then you want to take the hand and you want to extend it on this double hinge here like that. Same thing on the other side, just open up the hand and extend that wheel all the way out, like so. You want to come back here, you just want to bring this panel up, take this whole backpack here, just extend this out, and you want to bring up the chest piece here, these little side pieces will just rotate down, you can take the central grill and just flatten that out, like so. And you just bring all of this up and you want to just extend it all on these hinges here and get that out of the way. Now, next thing you're going to do is you're going to bring the legs up. They're going to swing all the way up. They're going to tuck behind this section here. And there is a little tab that will go into this slot right here on the leg. So just bring that back and then just bend the knee a bit until that plugs in. And then you just point his toe up. Second verse, just like the first, just rotate all that up. Bend the knee until that tab situates itself. Bring the toe up, and then the feet themselves will tab together like that. And that is, that's some flexibility right there. That's some flexibility. Some of you wish you can do that, but anyway. Once you have done that, we can just bring all of this down. Just collapse this down like so. Uh, you want to take the arms. This arm always pops off on mine. It pops off very easily on mine, so it might pop off anyway. But anyway, just collapse the arm in, rotate it in, and his hand's just going to be kind of cradling his uh, his hips there. Get on the other side, just bring it in, just swing it in, and then straighten it all out. Just tuck all that up and under, like so. Just make sure everything is situated. Like that, you can take this little panel here, just make that sit flush. And now it's just the point of kind of just tabbing all this together. So you want to bring these window sections down. There's a little post here that'll go into a port right in there. So situate that. Everything straightened out so you can situate it. Situate, situate, I said, situate. Thank you for situating. Appreciate it, appreciate you, appreciate your situation. There we go. Just get those, I said situates. Thank you. And then you have a tab that will go up in here, as always cat hair not included, and a tab that will clip up in there. So you're just kind of clipping a lot of things here at once and getting it all nice and squozen, making sure everything is just kind of tucked where it's supposed to be tucked, like so. Then you bring these sections up and that will further secure things into place. Again, make sure these side panels are all the way down. And just get everything all nice and squozen. And squozen and more squozen. And I think we're done. Oh, we're done. Yes, we're done. Ooh, we're done. And there you go. There you have Sideways in his alt mode. Get a good spin out of him, too. There he is. There he is in his alt mode, and I think it looks pretty good. And get this thing a little bit more flush there. There we go. So sometimes getting these, all these panels just kind of sit where they're supposed to can be a little bit of a pain in the bootox, but it's doable. Totally doable. Just get all nice and squozen, but there he is. There he is in alt mode. And I think it looks quite good. Looks quite, quite good. And let's get into so we can take a look at those details. See some nice detailing here for the front grill. You get some stripage going on here. Done in silver. You can see a lot of silver here on the car mode. And this is where all the paint budget went. <laughs> all the paint budgets went towards the car mode. But hey, 
the budget is what it is, and hey, it went to where it where it needs to go. I just wish there was some more on the uh, on the robot mode, but oh no, though, not too bad. Of course, you have your tra your trans clearance, windshields and windows. You have the clip-on wheels in the front. The back wheels are riveted in. And the taillights picked out in red. Exhaust pipes back there. And there is the top. There is the bottom. You have some visible hair syndrome. It's there. It's there. Visible foot syndrome also. Visible hand syndrome. What are you cupping? I don't know. But he rolls. As rolling things should. Hooray. Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here he is with Bumblebee. Here he is with Sideswipe. And here he is with the original Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Sideways. You can see how that works out. So There you go. And as far as weapon storage goes, you can store this on vehicle mode, and it stores the exact same way you store it in the uh, robot mode. You just have the two slots back here. You just plug it in, and it just hangs out back there. Not the most elegant thing, but hey, it's storage if you want storage. And the last thing to talk about, of course, is the included base of displayage that resides within the box. So we open up box, remove base of displayage, discard box, goodbye box, and here we have Shanghai, here's the window he breaks through and all of that. Studio Series 88, Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen logo right there. And we can take Mr. Sideways and plop him down. And as always, a lovely display option if you want to take advantage of it. And as always, options are good. So there you have Sideways, and uh, yeah, not a bad figure, but definitely room for improvement. Um, the vehicle mode looks really good, and the robot mode looks good for the most part. Um, I don't like the way the legs look. The legs really just, the legs look bad. Um, and as always, could use some more paint. But obviously all of the paint budget went towards the car mode, so understandable. So decent figure, but definitely some things that could have been done a bit better, but... There you go! Now, if you would like this or any other Studio Series figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Studio Series playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Sideways, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek! Be proud! Palm in your face! <laughs> Cover for me! Wait, what? Hey, yo, you see a Decepticon come around here? Uh, uh, uh yeah, yeah, he, he, he went that way. Man, I told you he was going the wrong way, come on! Wow, Autobots are really stupid!